review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. All right, what's going on, guys and girls? And we are back for another fun edition of the brew review. And what we got for you today is... The Grand Illusion, the grand. Not, not the Sticks album, for nope. all you uh, hardcore classic rock fans out there. Nope, nope, not the Sticks album. But yeah, what we got for you is really cool packaging. You got an owl right there, and we were at history, you got some blueberries there. <laughs> and this well-balanced blueberry lavender cider offers a pleasant sweetness and a light berry fruitness. It finishes with a touch of English lavender. And I don't know how well you can read that. It's small as hell. The government warning is, but the government sucks anyway, so why read it? And then you got your nutrient facts. Yeah, there's... Oh, yeah. Well, usually ciders do have a nutrient fact. So this could be your dieting beer. It could be. And as I read here, where the hell was it? Oh, yeah. It's actually produced in Dallastown, Pennsylvania. Yes. So it's local. It's a local beer. I'm York County, sure, Pennsylvania. I'm not sure where Dallas... Yeah, Dallas Town's New York. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes. Cool. So now, what's better than one? What's better than one Grand Illusion? Wait a minute, dog. I, I, are you seeing an optical illusion? Yeah. Do, do you see two? I believe you're seeing two there. You're it's seeing, a pair of hooters. You're seeing double. That was terrible. <laughs> I know. That was terrible. Um, you want to know what else is terrible? What's that? i got to change the battery. Son of a bitch! So, we'll be right back. After these brief messages. And we're back. <laughs> there's your, there's your commercial. So anyhow. Anyway, uh, as I was saying before, we had to go to commercial. Um, yeah, they're making us new commercials now here at ninety six nine. Well, we gotta make money somehow. Grand Illusions is very special for us because they own a brew pub right here in beautiful Carlisle, Pennsylvania. It's right on the main drag. Um, I've heard people go there. They say that it's kind of a cool place. But yeah, the owls are always cool. Don't know why. Maybe they inspire wisdom. Maybe they inspire... I, I don't know. Owls are cool. That's all you need to know. But you can tell by the can that this is a locally made type deal. I don't even know. Yeah, even like the label on the can, I don't know how well you can tell in the video or not. It's This is the first can I've ever seen that has a sticker over it. Yeah. Like, it's literally a sticker on a regular silver can. 6.5 alcohol by volume, so it's pretty decent for a, a cider. Uh, www.grandillusioncider.com if you want to check them out. And it even has ingredients, dog. I don't know if you've seen that. He says www. That's like 1990s. <laughs> Ingredients, fresh, fresh pressed apples, yeast, and English culinary lavender. 100% gluten-free. And the nutrient fact, serving size, one. So this is a serving size. Serving per container, one. Calories, 190. Uh, no fat, no saturated fat, uh, no sodium. Total carb, 17 grams, so it's not for you dieters out there. And no protein, so not very healthy, but it's, it might be good. You only live once. Yeah, you only live So once. we're going to do the opening of can test, the drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's do the double of the opening can. Good pops. Beautiful. Synchronized. I don't smell hardly anything. Really? Yeah. Smell mine. It's the same fucking thing. Come on. Same deal. Let me smell yours. Let me smell it again. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I smell flowers. I smell the lavender, as you will. The culinary lavender. 
but that's just be the fact that I, I'm drunk. So anyway, what are we drinking, dog? I'm drinking. I'm drinking Grand Illusion Hard Cider Blue Illusion. What are you drinking? I'm also drinking Grand Illusion Hard Cider Blue Illusion Blueberry Lavender, twelve ounces, six point five content. You have, try it. You have more stuff on your can. Hmm. Okay, flavor burst. Not your normal cider. Remember when you were a kid and you were painting your Easter eggs lavender? Yeah. It tastes like that smell. <laughs> <laughs> so if you drank the, the lavender colored water... Yeah, don't try that at home, people. That's what this would taste like. Well, that shit's non-toxic. But it's... No, other than that, I can't describe it. It's not... Okay, I'll say this... It's a weird flavor. That's all I'm going to say. I'll say this flat out. If you're expecting a, this hard cider to taste like a hard cider, you're going to be disappointed. Because it doesn't taste anything like a hard cider. It doesn't even taste like a cider. I can already tell you that it looks purple. Yeah, I think it's purple. I, I, I've yet to try it in a glass. Yeah, it's definitely... Well... More of a... The way the light hits it, it's almost fuchsia. That's champagne. No, no, that's wine. That's almost like pink Moscato. But I've never had it in a glass. Huh. Yeah, that's pink Moscato. That's you wine. sure it's not a fucking wine? It could be a wine. It could very well pass for a wine. This is what you serve at a wedding. Those of you people who are planning to get married out there. Let's see, in the, I hate to say it, but in the glass it kind of smells like wet laundry. <laughs> mold. Yeah, it was like mold. a yeah, like, like a, a basement, mold. like almost a basement. Have you smell. ever le remember Big Spring when you had swimming class once a week? Yeah, it smells like what your swimming trunks do when you fucking leave them in the locker, dude. And then they start looking rusty because the locker's rusting because you left your wet swimming trunks in there, dude. I got, and your parents' tax dollars are paying for a new locker because you left them in there. I, I hate to even tell this story because it's so embarrassing, but I think yeah, I do tell to the six hundred and. 500 and some people subscribe to our I channel. I had swimming class like the first week of school. I threw a pair of swimming trunks in my locker. And I never got them out of there like the entire year. <laughs> I let that shit in my locker for like however long school was. Like, like eight, nine, ten months. Yeah. And I never pulled them. I was afraid to get them out of there by that point. So I just left them in there. Did you leave them even after the last day? You damn right I did. I I abandoned that shit. I don't know what they my, like. my brother did that. And I, he got them out and brought them home. And my mom was so pissed off. Like, the tail and the trunks had rust spots on them. <laughs> That's how long they were in there. He, my mom wanted to kick his ass. <laughs> but this, um... Yeah, this doesn't taste like cider at all. I'm not even sure what it tastes like. But it's not cider. It's not wine either. I don't know what to make of it, really. I mean, it's it's good. Don't get me wrong. I don't taste really any different. Dang it. Ah! ah, yes. Perhaps I could serve this at Tendo with a $30 steak. Nothing to compare it to, though. No, no, this is something completely different. I've never had anything like this before in my life. Um, I can't compare it to other ciders because it doesn't taste like. Well, ciders. there's no hint of there's no blueberry in it. I know that. It's it's got a. I honestly uh, think like the lavender, kind of overpowers everything else. Not ever being able to taste lavender before. Welcome to the Grand Legend. Sorry, I'm singing sticks. Nothing wrong sticks. Um, yeah, I remember like my dad playing that album on cassette tape when I was a kid. Mm. In his old 78 Ford pickup with three speed on the column. There you go. You remember that old truck? Oh, yeah. 
Good times. And then I later went and bought the CD. <laughs> um, I I don't know. This is this is a tough one. I'm confuckled. Yeah, I'm totally confuckled. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's they, weird. It's different. It's different. I don't know. That's if it's like weird. you know. This is the equivalent of like you've been listening to metal your whole life. And then you start listening to, like, oh, I don't know, soundscapes or some sh weird shit yeah, like that. Let, let's or say you, you listen to, like, that's going from, like, metal to Mariah Carey. But, yeah, let's say your entire life you listen to Metallica, Megadeth, Pantera, all the great metal bands. And then one day you pop in Richard Marks. Wherever you go! Yeah, let's say you just pop in Richard Marks one day and, you're, and you say to yourself... This isn't that bad. That's what this is like. It's like you go from one extreme... Or, remember when South Park was talking about Phil Collins? Yeah. You're inside and the, and they of were, me! And the, and the kids were on Ritalin? You're inside of me! Yeah, Phil Collins. Phil, these nuts. I like Phil Collins. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, it's... I can't give this a bad score, because... I'll give it a unique score. What, what's your unique score? Hmm. I mean, can we even rate this? That's the thing. Confuckled. I'll, I'll just call it confuckled. <laughs> We're totally confuckled right now, because I can't rate this as a bad drink. I wouldn't say it's the best. I wouldn't say it's the worst. I mean, it's memorable. It's different. Certainly memorable. Confuckled. We're kind of fuckled. Like, it's very rare when we get like this, where we can't even rate the damn thing. Not because it's bad, not because it's good, it's... Whatever. The packaging is kick-ass. Yeah, it's whatever the hell this is. <laughs> that, that could be our new score, is... Uh, it's, um... It's Grand Illusion. <laughs> like, I rate this Grand Illusion, Blue Illusion, Hard Cider. That's, that's what I rate it as. He's going to finish his. Hoping. But yeah, we, I had this at our party on Saturday. Not many people enjoyed it. Hmm. It was... It's okay. I, I don't mind it. I don't think I'd sit around and drink a lot of it. No, you can't drink a, a six-pack of this. I bought it as a six-pack. Um, yeah. It's good. I, I don't know if I'd ever buy it again, but... It's wor it was worth trying, at least. It's odd. It's different. It's purple. It's Grand Illusion. It's got an owl on it. It's got a wide mouth can. It's made with lavender. English lavender. And you got a pair of hooters in the background. Yeah, a big old pair right. of hooters I right here on the bar. The hooters. Don't you feel those hooters too much. Mm. <sighs> what an exciting episode, ladies and gentlemen. This is about as fun as eating licorice. <laughs> we'll never let that go. That was a dumb fucking episode of Saturday Saturday. Which ah. You can catch some Saturdays here at uh, 96 Not a Whip. Some Saturdays, not all the time. We take hiatuses on that one. Yeah. And as he finishes, drink it. Drink it. Drink that shit. Put it down your gullet, you little bitch. There you go. Anyway, um, we can't rate this because we're not sure what the hell to make of it. It's worth a shot. I'll say that much. It's worth trying. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode featuring Grand Illusion, Blue Illusion. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>